guys, welcome back. So, whew, what a day. Um, I had this really good dream from the gods, and this feels like it should be for everyone. Not just for me, but it was basically, I was hanging out with the gods. I mean all the gods. every from G Everyone from Jesus and the Buddha to Odin and Loki. All the gods. It was emphasized that any holy person or whatever, they were all in this like huge lounge. Like this kind of, like all this red leather and everything. And you could go in there and you could just hang out with them. And that's that's all they wanted. I should have told you about that early this morning, but but... I, as my brain is coming back into the waking world, you know how you start to notice things. And for some reason, I always notice this one dresser of mine first. And then I noticed the fan. And then I noticed my leg was hanging out of the blankets. And, you know, our minds can do a lot of powerful things to us, right? And I thought, oh, shit, move your leg. Keep in mind, I've been, you know, laying like this all night. Uh, move your leg before before it starts to hurt. Well, I couldn't move it in that nanosecond because by the time your body starts to actually obey commands and starts to move, it's like a couple seconds between your thoughts. I got the worst attack of arthritis. I mean, the worst attack. And the thing was, even though the gods had given me the stream, the pain was so extreme. They They gave it back to me basically today. They were like, man, that sucks. Here you go. Here's what it was. And the pain was so intense, and I'm asking all these gods all in sundry, and the first one that pops in my head, who the hell was I raised with? The first one that pops in my head is Jesus. So, I'm asking all in sundry, and I can feel them trying to help, but because I've put up this kind of force build, and that's the only way I can describe this shit, they are trying to help, they are trying to give me the healing, but it's like, boing, and they're like, you, you have to drop this, this thing, and you can almost feel like some of them are just like throwing themselves at it with wild abandon, maybe they'll get through this time, and some of them are like tapping on it politely, and you know, Loki's the only one, probably because he's my patron, that can walk behind that and be like, you know you're putting up a barrier, right? And Odin seems to be able to do it too, those two have the ability to do what I don't want people to think I picked this up from a novel because I'd said it before, but to go behind the scenes. They can kind of go behind the scenes of what we think is reality, circumvent stuff, and even though everybody else is being super polite and operating on the reality of this force barrel, they're like, that's inconvenient to me. I'm just going to dodge around it. So finally asked Loki, and because he was the only one that I didn't have that force filled up and he'd walk right behind it. Anyhow, um, you know, it, the pain's been getting better. I have, like, a heating pad on. I turned out my heat in the house. You know, took something for the pain. You know, drank a lot of water, because I wasn't sure, if, was it my arthritis? Was it a Charlie horse? What the fuck was going on? I think I got both at once, because I'm special. And I said, but the weird thing is, every time I've prayed before, this pain's always went away, almost like in an instant. So, you know, I started to do some research, and this thing came up, you know, from, you know, I wanted to see it, it popped into my head about, it's it's just a ride, um, this fellow named Hicks did it. If you find that video, just watch that video. Do not then go on to watch some of his comedy shows, which will make you wonder, how the hell did this much wisdom ever come out of this bitter son of a bitch? And he's bitter, and he's mean, and he's cruel. If you would just hear this snippet, though, you would think this guy's like the next living Buddha. Well, he's dead now, but I <laughs> got laughter and cheers back here. But it is all just a ride, and he's right in that little bit that he managed to do that didn't sound like his usual terrible cynical self. All the teachers that come here that tell us it's just a ride, we kill them. We kill them. And it's not just us. Every animal, other animal, we are an animal, seems to have the same thing built in, and we're not quite sure why. There used to be this beautiful lion in the local zoo like decades ago, and he was sweet, and he was kind, and he was gentle, and he, he didn't develop the mane, so he didn't d develop that lion attitude, oh, I'm going to beat the shit out of you for no apparent reason. He was sweet, and he was gentle, and he was kind, and everybody loved him, children loved him, he loved all the lions. Uh, the lions didn't love him. They they actually had to start putting him in a separate enclosure because he was too gentle and he was trying to be, you know, you know, 
just love everybody. And he would go up and greet all the other lions. And that's not how lion society runs. It's a very aggressive society. And, you know, eventually the other lions actually made it over the fence and managed to kill him. And, you know, and you're like, why? He wasn't trying to hurt them. He was a threat to everything their society held dear. Their society holds aggression dear. They like to get along for five seconds, and then they're slapping each other around again. And they just couldn't comprehend what the fuck's wrong with him. He was being this rebel, this let's all be nice. And that's usually part of the reason we kill our human teachers that come down and say Jesus or, you know, they did this video of this guy's this guy's speech, you know, and they included like, you know, Martin Luther King, stuff like that. Any peaceful person we have come down, they're a threat to the establishment because they're a threat to the way we do stuff. And the gods have been kind of jumping up and down and reminding all of us, and this is exactly like the capital, the right on the capital, the, you know, that was a manifest lesson of, this is all just a ride. And we can pretty much make this into whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. That freaks us out, right? Because most of us grew up with roles and everything else. We grew up in a religious system. And even though we say we love being spiritual, you know, the first part of the day I thought was perfectionism getting in my way, which it can because it can tend towards perfectionism. And, you know, if you run a channel, sometimes, you know, you, you try not to let what people say get under your skin, but sometimes it does. And that, that can be an issue, too. But really, at the end of the day, it's not kind of you kind of have to wake up at some point. And I know a lot of you are getting the the feeling that there's like five adults awake on this planet and we're just watching children run around uh, terribly aghast at what they're doing because it's like they don't even know what they're doing. I was watching this, you know, as everybody else was watching the Capitol thing. I said, I don't think these people are awake. They think they're awake. They think they know what they're doing, but I said, if I didn't know any better, I'd say they're sleepwalking through life. I said, the, the way they're behaving, how crazy they are, how dumb they were, who the hell smells, smiles for a camera when they're, you know, committing an offense like that? You, you don't have a lot going on upstairs if you're doing that. And I said, no wonder they were so easily let around. It's like they're sleepwalking. They're not actually awake. I said, I feel like one of the four, you know, four adults awake on the planet at this point. But the first thing we have to do is kind of wake up. Realize it is all right. Realize, you know, and I'm like saving stuff. I, I have a private for right now because we all need unique lessons. But if you guys shout a lot, I, I will I will like put you towards some stuff. Keep in mind, results will vary. What works for me may not work for you. In fact, might have the opposite effect. So, But, you know, the first thing we have to do is wake up and realize we're on this ride. And, you know, there's really no rules and there's nothing for us to accomplish. We just came here to enjoy ourselves and have fun and create whatever we want for ourselves. And that freaks us the fuck out because we go, well, the one thing keeping me from being a serial killer is because I believe in the bad Bernie place. Or the one thing keeping me from being a serial killer is because that doesn't fit, you know, spiritual lifestyle or something. <laughs> and I'm like, if that is the one thing keeping you from being a serial killer, what you need is therapy, not spirituality. You seriously do. Um, Lucky and I play games like that. We reason through stuff, you know, like, you know, when you give up the concept of hell, because I truly don't believe in it, you give up the concept of hell, then, you know, is that the only thing, the fear of eternal punishment, if that's the only thing holding you back, you might want to see, you know, sit down and talk with someone. Lucky said, okay, well, if that's gone, if there's no, like, there's nothing holding you back now from, you know, going and doing all the bad things you could do. Why aren't you doing them? And I'm like, I really don't feel like doing them. I don't have to hurt people to prove anything. And guys, well, see? And, you know, most of us, we are decent people. But we can pick up programming from other people. We can have people try to shove their programming on us. And we all have programming. You got it in school. You get it from religion. You get it from our society. Um, and it's all about just kind of, you know, I kept getting it about waking up. And realizing how powerful we are, I've been getting that. I think the last week or so has been stagecraft on all of them. They've all been doing the stagecraft for me. And everything's been really amplified and dramatic. It was them trying to get my attention. And Asmodeus is in the corner like, she finally gets it. I think he's exhausted going to have a spiritual breakdown of some sort. I think he's actually good. But, you know, when your teachers are being, you know, and he's one of my teachers... 
when your teachers are being over dramatic or erratic or something, they're usually trying to get your get your attention. It's like if Loki is doing something really dramatic and over over amplified even for Loki, he is trying to get your attention. Now, obviously, as I talked about on Patreon and I talked about here, there was stuff that was supposed to arrive yesterday. The post office told me it would arrive. We spent all day waiting for it. it didn't come. They told me it was shipping out this morning at like 3 in the morning. Okay. Still ain't here. And the, and the mail truck finally came today. And although I was mad they didn't come yesterday, what am I going to do? If I scream at them, they'll come even less. And they just don't come in this town. Some days we don't get mail. It's like we don't count. Um, and, you know, where am I going with that? One second, let me get a train, maybe. Oh, yeah, where I'm going with that is that, you know, if just because something doesn't work perfectly all the time, just because, you know, studying with your teachers and that doesn't therefore move the mail faster or make something happen doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It just means that sometimes, you know, we make mistakes and that's okay. I obviously didn't have the power to make that, you know, they first told me it would be here this coming Wednesday, I think. And I was like, that's a damn long time, but okay. The post office is the one that was like, oh, no, 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 man. It's it's coming it's coming Monday, okay? Monday's when they said it's going to come. And I'm like, okay. And then yesterday, they're the ones, the post office said, no, nah, man, we, we're, we're, we shipped it out at like 6 in the morning. By the time you get up, you should have it. The post office did that, and then mysteriously today they shipped it out from the same exact place. Two days in a row it has left the same exact destination. It's mysterious. And now they're pretending it didn't leave that destination yesterday. Yes, it did, because you, you told me it did. And so it obviously didn't get here today. It won't get here till Monday, if I'm lucky. It might be late and be here Wednesday. The the um you know beauty supply place was like, you get it Wednesday. You get it Wednesday. And for you astute viewers, yeah, I'm not wearing makeup because, you know, I was in so much pain and I came down and I was like, this is not a makeup day. This is a wash your face and that's enough day. And also, I'm developing that allergy again. And I found something out. That great lip color I was getting since I was making it out of lip liner. And you can do that, but results will vary. Oh god, my food, it tasted bad. I thought, what the hell kind of rare disease do I have now? And then I thought, let's just try a day without it. It was it was the lip liner, so you know it was the eyeliner rather I made into lip liner. Don't do that. That's 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 the reason why. So you know, I we hope you guys are having a good one. But that was kind of something I wanted to pass on. That you know, it's all it's all just a ride. And really, you know, people want to hear about Loki because it's a Lokian channel. But Loki really doesn't. He can at times act jealous, but he really doesn't care. Like if for the reasons of the programming I grew up with, if Jesus will over and only be the one that I can expect instant healing from, fine, go to Jesus. If Odin is the only one I think can give me wisdom on something, fine, go to them. If Asmodeus has a specialty, fine, go to them. He doesn't mind you using specialists. Now, your free time is a totally different subject, but he doesn't mind you going to specialists. He is the god and so is Odin of here is the one that you will accept this from. And when they ask you, well, why can't you take it from me? It's not always a challenge. It's, well, why can't you take it from me? Because you don't have the belief. Don't worry about it. You can't, you know, you can work on that if you truly feel like you need to, but you don't have to. Just take it from wherever you can get it. And if you can get healing from one God and you know that God heals, <laughs> go get it. If you can get wisdom from another God and you know you will get wisdom there, go get it there. So, you know, you don't have to keep trying to be perfect because the perfectionism it is i think a thing that keeps us from waking up because we 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 just we want to be perfect and as i was trying to look up stuff today all these lists from everything from christianity to spirituality had these impossible to achieve lists of all these things you have to do to be perfect you ain't never going to be perfect and it's okay it's just a ride so I hope that made an ounce of sense. I'm terribly tired. I've been up since super early because of the pain incident. But if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.